This is Lesson 3-8, Modeling Tenths with Fraction Circles. Ten preschoolers shared two liters of fruit juice equally during snack. What fraction of the juice did each student get? The first thing we need to understand is what is our whole. Our whole is a liter of juice. How can we share the juice equally? One way we can divide the two liters into ten equal parts. Then, let's see, student number one is going to get a tenth from this liter and a tenth from this liter. So each student will get two tenths. Another way to do it is dividing the preschoolers into two groups of five. Give them each a liter of juice. Now the juice only needs to be divided into five equal parts, and each student will get one of these. That would be one-fifth. Hmm. So the two different ways we solved the problem, we got two-tenths and we got one-fifth. Can you prove that two-tenths and one-fifth are equivalent? One way to prove it is with our equivalent fraction rule using multiplication to find an equivalent fraction. Here, we took one-fifth, multiplied it by two, and we got two-tenths. We're comparing two-tenths and one-fifth to prove that they are equivalent. If I can use this multiplication rule, I get an equivalent fraction. Now if I start with my two-tenths and I want to find a smaller equivalent fraction, I can use division. So dividing by two, I get my one-fifth. Another way to prove it, with the fraction circles. I can see that with two-tenths and one-fifth, the same amount of the whole is covered or shaded in. Another way to prove it, on a number line, this is zero and here's one. My one hole is the distance between zero and one. So I see that the number line is divided into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tick marks. So here, one, two, here's my two tenths. Now, how can I make this number line fifths? Let's see. By going every other, one, two, three, four, five. This number line also shows fifths. One fifth is here. One-fifth and two-tenths land on the exact same spot on my number line. They are the, both the same distance from zero and the same distance to get to one whole. Okay, now my one whole is going to be a red circle. So here I have purple fraction pieces. How many purple fraction pieces would I need to cover my hole. I would need 10. So what fraction of my circle is one purple piece? One tenth. This is a decimal. This says one-tenth. 
Here we show the decimal, the words, and the fraction. And they all say the same thing. This circle is covered by one purple piece, one-tenth. This says one-tenth. This says one-tenth. And the fraction says one-tenth. What am I showing here? I have two of my purple pieces covering my one hole. I'm talking about two tenths. Here it is as a decimal. Here it is in words. Here it is as a fraction. Two tenths. Two tenths. Two tenths. Three different ways we're saying the same thing. Two tenths of my whole is covered. I can show it in fraction, oops, in decimal, in words, and in fraction. So, how much of my one whole is covered here? I know that I have three out of my ten equal parts shown covering my one whole, and this fraction reads three tenths. Now I know that I can write it as a decimal. Zero point three also says three tenths. Here I have four tenths covering my fraction circle, my one whole. Four out of my ten equal parts, my fraction is four tenths. As a decimal, it looks like that. Four tenths. So, when writing numbers with a decimal point, here we have a whole number. Well, I only have one tenth showing so I don't have my one whole. I only have a fraction, a smaller piece of it. That comes after the decimal point. The place after the decimal point is tenths. So let's compare these fraction pieces. Here I have three out of my ten equal parts, and here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight out of my ten equal parts. Let's compare them. This is three tenths. Here it is written as a decimal. This is eight tenths. Here it is written as a decimal. Comparing them, I can see that three tenths is less than my eight tenths. Okay? Which would be greater? One and two tenths or nine tenths? So here I have my one whole plus two tenths, one and two tenths. And here I just have nine tenths. I don't have any holes. This is more. One and two tenths is greater than nine tenths, which is less. Zero or one tenth? Well, if I have zero, I don't have anything. I don't have any fractions, any holes. I have zero. But here, I have one tenth. So having one tenth is going to be more. 
this comparison number model says 0 is less than 1 tenth. Can you write the fraction and the decimal that these pieces show? Good luck! See you tomorrow!